Hi, everyone. Got a quick video here just to showcase some of the DICOM uh, setup we have. We have two channels. We have a listener and we have a sender. And what we're trying to do here is we're basically trying to send DICOM uh, via TLS. So we want to encapsulate this, this DICOM message and make sure it's encrypted with uh, TLS. Um, and in order to do that, we have to have a different kind of setup because we have to use uh, a key store and a trust store in Mirth. Um, I'll go through that here in a second. But um, let's get into the channel. So I'm using Mirth Connect and let's go to our listener. So on the listener side, I have a pretty basic default setup. I did change my um, data type to DICOM. We're doing DICOMs and in the source, I have um, configured the following. So we have AES turned on, we have client authentication turned on, handshake turned on. Some of these are optional depending on what you're trying to do and what type of encryption you're trying to do. Um, but the main part here is in order to, to have this work is you need to exchange uh, certificates and you need to host a key store and a trust store. So you need to have, if you want that mutual authentication, uh, you have to share the, the, the certificates with each other. So if this was the listener, uh, I would have to get the sender's certificate and import them into my stores. Uh, of course, you have to share the passwords. Some of these are optional based on your settings here. Um, feel free to play with it, but the basic setup, um, this definitely works. Um, I'm listening on port 2002. You can change that port, it's really up to you. Uh, the rest of the settings are pretty much default. I don't really have any destinations, I'm just kind of ch sending it to the channel. Um, if we go to the uh, sender, so I'm just reading from the channel. Um, the destination, I'm just writing it to the channel, but I'm writing it to the, uh, the I'm, I'm sorry, I'm writing it to the DICOM sender, which is our other listener. Um, just a local host because it's all in the same box, but if you're using something else, um, you have to, of course, would change the IP. There's my port that I defined, the 2002. Um, all these settings are default, except for, of course, the encryption stuff here. Um, I have the TLS, AES, same thing. And then these are backwards, so it'd be the client versus the um, mirth. So you basically, each of you have your own private key store and you need to exchange uh, those certificates as well. I just set up the same password. So let's go ahead and try this out. Um, I'll go ahead and I have a couple of samples here, but I'll just resend this. Okay, that was sent. You can see here some basic DICOM information. You have a study instance ID. Um, this is a very basic uh, DICOM message. There's the, the raw data there. And that's pretty much it. Uh, a couple of things you need to do, there's a couple tools you can use. You can use SSH and KeyGen tool. There is a uh, Windows program called T Key Tool that will help make it a little easier to um, create those keys and move those keys, import them and uh, export them as needed. For Mirth, you will need to go ahead and upload those keys into your, uh, your server. So you have to maybe create a folder. Uh, that's what I did. I just created a folder under the Mirth Connect folder and app data, and then you can put your keys there. Just make sure that you, uh, in the channel, you know, point them to the right folder. If you do get an error, that's probably the reason why, is because Mirth can't um, find those keys. So you have to make sure that the path is actually correct. That's pretty much. Thank you.